this week we want to talk about using our capos on uh, the five string and if you're not using a five string and you're doing open tuning or you're doing a slack key guitar then you just use the one capo and uh, we're gonna do a song in B flat and so I talked about putting on capos before so I put uh, the main capo here on the third fret and then um, also, it's the third fret of the French chanterelle string. I use this little chanterelle capo. And uh, some guys use railroad spikes and so on and so forth. So I put that on. And that puts me in B flat. And just so you know, with the banjo as it's tuned in open G, um, you can figure your capos based on your steps. And so then and every fret is a half a step and a so flat, this becomes a b flat b and c and that's generally as high as anyone goes on a banjo so again a flat a b flat b c and then um, if you did go up it'd be c sharp d etc and every time you move this capo you have to move this capo and that's how it works. So we're going to um, do that. And, and if you need a capo chart and you message my channel and ask for leaving your email, I'll email you a, a capo chart. Uh, they're not hard to come by. I had designed one years ago uh, when they were not as prevalent, I suppose. And I have a, one that's really easy to use and understand. And you're more than welcome to a copy of that if you just message me with your email address I'll email you a copy and so we're gonna do I'll fly away in B flat and when you capo you can do it the simple way like we've been talking about let me turn so we get the glare off of my banjo neck and so you you can have your open G here you could be at the fifth fret, which is where your capo is. Now remember, when I say fifth fret, that's from the capo, not the actual fifth fret. Because once you move the capo, this is like this is like this fret here, that this knot here. So once we move it, everything changes. And so we would count five frets: one, two, three, four, five. Put our finger there. And then we would count two more, one, two, and that's our D. And we would press the chanterelle string down so we get a, a better note because it sounds off if you don't. Um, remember, we don't really like to play the chanterelle a lot, the, the short string a lot on D chords because it doesn't blend nicely. Um, like when I'm plucking with my thumb, I usually just pluck my D string when I'm playing D chords and it kind of balances that out. We'll use the G7 and our E minor. All chords we've talked about, nothing new. We're just doing it in a new position. And so I'll do it the easy peasy way first. And then we'll use chords. Uh, we'll use our C and our D7. So. That's the first verse. Now, if we do that again, we'll do the same verse again, but instead of doing our bar chords like this, we'll use our C chord and our D7 chord, and that's the only thing that changes. So, blend. Yeah. 
that's pretty much how that goes. Uh, strumming wise, I'm not just using my thumb. I'm brushing with my fingertips. Usually it's just the middle finger. Sometimes I use both. When I'm picking on things, I use more fingers. We're not really teaching that. So, um, and I'm plucking the chanterelle string with my thumb. So, so if I exaggerate, just kind of work with it and uh, as I've said in the past when you get more comfortable with your chords and playing the instrument there are other sources uh, that will teach you how to do three finger style or the frailing that that will spend a lot more time on it and teach you a mechanical pattern that um, that will make you much better now let's so. just do the song and let's do it my way uh, don't Pay so much attention to my hands because I'll be using the same chord progression that we've already learned. So That's and, it. Uh, next week we'll talk about a different chord progression to play in different keys and which doesn't take the same advantage of the open G tuning. We'll start by playing in C without capoing. We'll play it down here. So uh, that's a good thing for everybody to learn how to do. And I'll explain that uh, next week. Till then, Lord bless you. Amen.